All right. Um, I am going to upgrade to Postgres 11 on um, <clears throat> a geo installation that has separate database nodes on the primary and separate database nodes on the secondary. And the tracking database is separate from the read replica. Um, so this is just to verify that uh, we have the ability to do this um, just with Omnibus as is without, you know, custom uh, Postgres commands uh, or, or manually doing it. Okay. Um, so I've already done this for the case where the primary is on a single machine and the secondary is on a single machine. Um, and that looked good. So we don't really expect um, any problems, but uh, it's a more complicated case. So we shall see. Um, we're going to follow this doc. And if anything is missing from this doc, this is what we're gonna need to um, modify to make sure that customers can do this um, without issue. Uh, this is our Geo HA setup. Um, it is, it looks pretty functional. Um, things are synced. And yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So let's get started. Um, <clears throat> In order to follow this here, one thing that I will say is it's a little confusing. Um, this whole portion is fairly separate from this. Um, I'm not going to be upgrading GitLab from an older version, so I don't, Yeah, I don't think we need to do this. Yeah. But the first thing I'm gonna need to do is log in to our SSH into all of our machines that we're using. And we have five machines total because we have primary with its app node, its database node, the secondary with its app node, and two database nodes. So let's SSH into those. <clears throat> this is the primary app node. This is the secondary app node. This is the primary database node. secondary read replica. And the 
this is the secondary tracking database. Okay. Okay, to upgrade a geo cluster, you'll need the name for the replication slot and the password to connect to the primary server. Um, the password that I have set up, um, I have the name of the slot. We can get via this command. And this is run on the primary node. Uh, I think it's got to be run on the primary database now. So, in fact, I'm going to make a note of that. Okay, let's do it. And the name of the replication slot is single slot. Okay, upgrade. Um, yeah, we're not we're not changing the GitLab version. We're just running PG upgrade. Um, yeah, that must be run on the same node. Uh, let's do it. Ah, right. Uh, Postgres 11 is not the default yet, so uh, we need to specify um, the target version is 11 in our case, but uh, the purpose of this is to validate that it's okay for us to make the default PG version 11, which would make this command uh, automatically target 11, I believe. So uh, nothing to change here, but for our tests, we need to specify the target version. Just FYI, you put in 11. I don't think it works with a minor version, but um, yeah, maybe I'll write that down. It is doing the upgrade. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, it looks like that was successful. It warns you that replication um, is no longer working and needs to be re reinitialized on the secondary. Um, and that is part of the instructions here. So, um, I'm gonna copy this with the target version. And I'm gonna run that on the secondary. Read replica node. as well as the tracking database node. Oh. Oh, right. Darn it. So I was reusing this node from a previous test and it's already on PG-11. Hmm, darn it. Not really sure why it says detected an HA cluster because there kind of isn't one. This Postgres node is the read replica. There's no other replica of this in the secondary. Okay. Search for this string and see how we determine that. I think this might be an issue where we were running just a single like monolithic Postgres node and we don't actually need or want rent manager or console running. I'm not really sure. I think we might need to uh, disable some more services here. Thank you. 
once you do have that solid, um, you're going to need to get the book number for. I and L and C all down to just make sure they do that. Awesome. Then you should then let them know you have a cell phone and what your cell phone number is. So that's one barrier down, right? Cool. Okay, we'll have to <laughs> Yeah. Are you feeling better? Alright. And are you <coughs> Configure has finished. Uh, yeah, we have a lot less services running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just try to finish this, uh, even though the tracking database is already on PG 11. Um, And I may need to do this test again, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, it seems like it was right that because we had console and rep manager services around, uh, it was blocking PG upgrade from working. Um, uninitialized constant time out. Uh, okay, so there was a timeout, and there's another error that there is no timeout error constant. Uh, what timed out? Waiting for database to be running. Okay, maybe it didn't wait long enough. It didn't really seem like it waited very long. Well, I'm not really sure. I'm going to try it again. Oh, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, it seems to think that there's nothing to do to upgrade to PG-11. So I'm going to continue, although I will copy this. Oh yeah, you can't use copy because it'll run the line. Okay, the primary host name is, I think we're just using the, let's see, this is, I think we're using the external IP of the primary. Is how we had it set up. So it has in MD5 auth cider addresses, it has the external IP of the secondary read replica node, and it has the internal IP of the primary app. Yeah, so I think. this command for the primary host name is the external IP of the quick. What's next? Refresh the four entries on the geosecondary server using command. So this is going to be run from the secondary app node. Oh. 
in a geo HA setup with databases managed by GitLab on the bus, the command above should be run on your geo tracking database. Uh, the only way you could run that on the geo tracking database is if the geo tracking database is running Rails. So, That's not there's not. So get live break would fail. Um Okay. No PGHBA conf entry for host something something five nine. That's the tracking database's internal IP. Cannot connect to server GitLab secondary. Uh, the server GitLab secondary is the name of the read replica uh, from the perspective of the tracking database. And then we also have caused by, it's all the same thing down there. This seems familiar. Are you supposed to refresh foreign tables? Oh, maybe something's just not authorizing something. Uh, okay, so the secondary read replica. to let the tracking database in. Uh, for like, for FTW. Um,
Okay, I, oh, I, am I still sharing? I found um, an issue that shows that refresh foreign tables rake task fails on app server HA setup. It said it failed on the first try, restarting the geo tracking database fixed it and rerunning was successful. So I'm gonna try that. Um, okay, while I had the recording paused, um, I tried adding the um, tracking database internal IP explicitly to MD5 auth CIDR addresses. Even though we have this range um, of 10 dot anything, uh, that doesn't seem to work. Um, so I have this explicitly in here. I did a reconfigure and then I reran the rake task and it succeeded. So that's um, unexpected, but um, make a note of that. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that was a lot more eventful than I thought it was going to be. Refresh Horn Tables is now running. Oh, did I note that? I did. Uh, now I need to restart these things, I guess. Uh, on the app node. And then we'll, we'll visit admin geonodes UI.
Okay, here we are. Let's just run. Well, while we're waiting for statuses to update, I'll make a change to a repo. Let's add. Okay. Not that quick. Hmm. Seems like it's not currently working. So, uh, actually, what would be a good idea generally? That's good. And that's good. Okay. Okay, well, we've got more activity from Psychic. Maybe it was just taking a long time to update the status here. Ah, yes. Okay, so now my update to the project should be in the secondary. Looks like it is. Okay. Um, it looks like things are working. The only thing we tested was uh, <laughs> if the tracking database is already on Postgres 11, um, but the other two databases are on Postgres 10, does the upgrade work? It appears to. Um, I'm going to run QA against it, but uh, I might I might do this test again. Uh, where we do the tracking database upgrade at the same time. Um, yeah, the command that I used 
used had uh, a password in it, which is not super secure, but I don't want to have to change it for anything. So, you know, for my demo instances. So I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to run it on the side. First test asked, push a commit to a wiki is replicated to the secondary node. Now it's running HTTP push to secondary, a regular commit is redirected to the primary and ultimately replicated to the secondary that passed. Now it's doing the same thing with an LFS commit. And that passed. 